Hey guys, it's back with Johnny Tech Review and I hope you guys are all doing well. So today I have a pretty interesting review for you. This is a new headset from Rosewheel. This one is called the Nebula GX50. Uh, Rosewheel also released a GX30, a GX40 and GX50. And those are different models and also I believe they are respectable for the uh, millimeter size of the drivers. So this as you can see here is quite large and this is a 50 millimeter driver as you can see. So here's the headset. As you can see on the side here, you have some vent, and these are where the LED lights are gonna come through. So these headphones come with rainbow effect, and I'll get into a little bit more detail later of what it actually does and what kind of option you have. These little cup here are somewhat firm. They're soft, but not too soft. Uh, they actually are quite comfortable when you're wearing them. You have here the uh, headset, the microphone here, as you can see, and the microphone is actually detachable. So it's a 3.5 millimeter audio jack here. You can just unplug it if you want to. I'm just gonna leave it down to the side here. You have this headband here, which is a pretty nice design. So in my head, I have quite a large head and I put this on, it's actually pretty comfortable. You support most of the weight and also allow you to make some adjustment. So yeah, it works pretty well. And you can see here on my head, it looks pretty good. Uh, the headphone itself is about 13.4 ounce last time I weighted it so it's almost uh, you know almost a pound but it's pretty comfortable and uh, overall wearing this for a long extended period of time playing counter strike for like an hour I'm still pretty comfortable with it uh, it does get a little bit warm over time so you do kind of have to take it off for like 10 15 seconds to kind of cool down I do wish that the uh, ear cups are a little bit bigger because my ears are quite big but other than that uh, it's pretty comfortable and have no complaint with it so next let's talk about the sound quality of these guys uh, on the low end the bass uh, you have a decent amount of bass but i do feel like for a close back pair of headphone that the bass should be a little bit better i was expecting a little bit more deeper bass but in general it's not terrible and for listening to music is also quite good uh, the mid is a little bit warm i do feel like the headphone overall generally sound a little bit warm uh, and um, you know, vocal come through pretty well. When you're playing a game and you're shooting a gun or running around, you can get really nice sound uh, out of this headphone. The high with the treble is not as clear as I like. Uh, it's not as crispy and sharp. So uh, when you're listening to music, I, I do notice like a little bit of missing stuff there. But for gaming overall, it's not bad of a headphone. So you can use the included software, which uh, allow you to tune the EQ a little bit. However, I do notice that the EQ range is a little bit also limited. Uh, as far as sound stage, you can expect kind of interesting sound state with this guy. Of course, it had a virtual 7.1 surround sound. I turned it on. It feel a little bit overbearing, so I really didn't really turn it on. I tried it for a little bit, but I didn't really like it, so I just leave it off typically. But it does have a virtual 7.1 sound surround sound if you want to play with that. For watching movie or something like that, it's a little bit more convincing, but for playing games, I didn't really uh, want to use that. So to give you an idea though. So this is the microphone that's included. As you can see, it's pretty flexible and you can bend it in all the various different directions. It has a Nebula logo here and it's a little blue LED light. So when you plug it in, it does come on. So as far as the sound quality from this mic, I'll let you listen to it real quick and comparison to something like my uh, Blue Snowball. All right, this is the test of the Rosewood microphone. I have it about one to two inches away from my mouth. And yeah, it's usually not very loud, but in games, people wouldn't seem to mind so much. They actually say my voice sounds pretty good. All right, guys, this is a sample of the Blue Snowball sound compared to the Rose Wheel, just to give you an idea. So as you can see now, it sounds kind of low. The volume is a little bit low and the pickup's not that high, but you can boost it up in the window a little bit if you like that. Uh, in games wise, people didn't really complain to it. They say that it sounds okay. I guess most people didn't really expect much from a, you know, a gaming headset. So the software, you can download from the website and install it. I did have some issues with it installing and then later it doesn't work. I turned out it was my virus scanner. I had to turn that off and exclude the software. It was detecting a uh, false positive. Anyway, in the software, you have a few options. You can actually tune the EQ here. Uh, you can change uh, some various different frequency. You can also turn on 3D sound. With 3D sound, everything seems a little bit louder and also seem to be a little bit more in your face. So if you're interested in that, you can just leave it on here using the software. Uh, you also have various different profile for the EQ. So you can save them and uh, load them in and out quickly. There's also save settings so you can save all of these and reload them from a file. Next, you have this effect tab where you can change various different uh, kind of like sound stage. You can have like a bedroom, a concert hall. Overall, it's not really that great. It was a lot of simulated echo and I really didn't use it that much. Uh, here on the microphone tab, you can also, of course, adjust the microphone and set it to boost if you want to do that. Again, you can also do this in Windows. And then finally, you have the virtual 7.1 surround sound. You can turn this on and off, and you can also adjust the various different kind of speaker around your head. So it kind of give you an idea. There's also a simulation here where you can click uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, and you play something, and you can hear the sound stage kind of move around you. That just kind of let you play around with it a little bit. Uh, watching the movie, yes, is actually pretty cool. Uh, I will leave it center and then make some adjustment as you need it, but you can also reset it here if you need that too. 
So as you can see here, looking through all the different software and all the options, you do not have any option here to actually make adjustment for the light. So at first I thought it was an RGB headset because you know it looked really nice on the box, but turned out it's just a rainbow effect color. It is a little bit disappointing that you do not have any option to control yours. But at this price point, I didn't expect too much out of this either. So guys, overall it's an interesting pair of headset. Uh, for about $50 or so I think it's a pretty good deal if you're looking for a headset that's on a budget it come with a controller here as you can see and uh, you know one thing I didn't like about the controller was actually a little bit heavy I also was disappointed with the no customization of the light you can only turn it on and off basically another thing I wish that they implement was when you turn the mic on and off it will turn the light on the mic on and off even though there's a light that would always stay on regardless of it's on or off position while we're on this little inline controller I do want to point out the cable is about six feet long so decent ample uh, link of cable here I hope you guys enjoy this review video and thank you to Rosewheel for sending using it out for me to review uh, I also team up with Rosewheel to give one of these away so all you have to do to enter this contest is pretty simple one be a subscriber two leave a comment or question below let me know what you think about it and three uh, the contest will end on the 29th of this month and I will randomly select a winner from one of the comment below so guys, what do you think of this unit? Uh, did you guys like it? Let me know in the comment box down below. If you guys found this video useful, please give it a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so, as I will release more and more videos like this in the future. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week, and thank you for watching this video.